I was gonna buy some cars, but I got high. Ooh, ooh, I was gonna sell some credit spreads, but I got high. Yeah, da da, my account is now blown up, and I know why. Yeah, cause I got high, because I got high, because I got high. Hey, shout out to all y'all that sticks through that, the little music introduction, but let's get to it. YouTube, YouTube, what it do? It's Little Petty checking in with you guys with another stock market episode. And in today's episode, we got a live episode. The markets are jumping, and we're gonna dig in. We're gonna we're gonna give you a little update on the small account challenge, and we're gonna talk about some of the plays. And what we got going on and how we're looking to make some more income for this week. And just give you guys an update of some of the plays that we're looking at and what the overall stock market in general is doing. So sit back, stay tuned, subscribe if you're new. Put on your seatbelts and we're going to bust through. So first of all, let's talk about the stock market. We're going to jump into the charts. As you guys all know, let's look at the SPY hunt. SPY 500. And as you guys can see, we are back. If you guys um go back and check out my videos, I've been talking about how the stock market is going to keep going higher. And we have already just, we've hit this one, uh, 322. And the next resistance is going to be up around this 332. But as you guys can clearly see, the stock market is very bullish. I'm not looking to buy no puts. Um, and yeah, that's basically uh, what we're going to talk about. But if you guys go back, and look at this video I talked about Tesla so let's go ahead and look at the Tesla chart Tesla chart is breaking out today it's up about I think like 10 no not 10 percent it's up about six percent but it's busting through these gaps I know it's kind of hard to see because I got these resistance pulled up but as you guys can see if you go back to my other video I was talking about selling the put credit spreads under here this 850 over the weekend for the weekend premium crush we nailed that trade we closed those out today for a profit and we set up some more tesla credit spreads and we can show you right here we're in the 880s 875 890 895s we have our uh our orders out to to close them out if they do reach these uh these uh profits so that's the that's the trade that we have set up we talked about that in this video go check out this video and also in this video we talked about the boeing run-up so if anybody missed out on the boeing run-up if you guys see boeing is clearly had a strong breakout we didn't we missed the big run-up but we did sell and we made money selling put credit spreads so go back and watch this video this video talks about how we were looking at boeing and how it is bullish and also BYND. So if you check out what BYND stock did today, BYND stock is up to a dollar. These expire in two days. Oh, now, if the video pause that. You're killing my video. But yeah, so back to the BYND chart. The BYND chart, it finally broke out. We had talked about that in this video right here. Go back and watch the live trading how to sell put credit spreads for weekly income we talked about the bynd trade and as you guys go look back the bynd has played out it hold that as a support and now it's breaking out we do have some contracts right now that we did sell today we sold the 149s the 148s and looking at it on the uh on the 15 minute chart you can see what it did today it was very bullish it had a breakout i have a uh i have a um a mark a marker for if it comes back down here and never tested that had a small pullback and now it's ripping up to all not to all-time highs but it's ripping up to some highs that we haven't seen in a while so bynd is very bullish there's some news that came out that it is distributing uh china distribution deals so shares are at 14 percent. so that's a bullish move but as you guys all know we like to look at the technicals and make our decisions that way but news catalyst does help out now for the last and not least we are going to talk about zm and zm is pretty bullish so i'm going to show you guys what i'm looking at right here on zm stock and we're actually going to zoom out 
Well, we can start on the daily chart, but as you can see, we had this up, and now we kind of have set this low pivot of this 195, and we're holding these these lower wick candles. But the the one thing that's keeping me very bullish on ZM stock is if you go to the weekly chart, you can see we have more green candles. We have only had two weeks of a pullback, and and it has continued. So if you look at this hammerhead candle, whatever you want to call that, we are actually probably more than likely going to climb back into that wick. And that is my overall analysis on ZM stock. So, but let's talk about Tesla real quick. Let me show you guys the chart on Tesla. Let's go to the daily chart because we did sell, we did set up some plays on the dailies for the uh, short term contracts. So what I'm looking at right now, and as the stock continues to ride, these contracts are going to go, they're going to get cheaper. So if we wanted to close this out right now, you could see we our max gain is uh, $77. We'll get our 40, $434 in buying power back. So, and if you guys didn't know, make sure you guys check out my Twitter. I'm dropping the play. So if you guys look right here, we closed out that put the Tesla put credit spread. This is when I dropped the play. It was over the weekend. We sold it for the weekend premium crush. This strategy has been five for five a hundred percent so far but the we over we know that the overall stock market is bullish but that's basically it for this video you guys um i think i got over what i wanted to do on to make this video short but let me go ahead and go to this one hour chart real quick and i also want to talk about the zoom the one hour chart because that's going to show you guys what i'm also looking at so tesla on the one hour chart you can see that we have came up above these pivots. That's why we ended up selling. As the stock rose up, we sold on the pullback and we sold contracts under here. So we sold the 180, the no the 880s and the 895. So those are the contracts that we are selling for the for the weeklies for the premium crush. And then also on ZM, if you go to the one hour chart, we did just get a bullish cross. So I'm liking that, and like I said, along with that weekly chart. So I want to show you guys right here. If you zoom in on ZM, you can see that we finally got a small bearish, a bullish cross to the upside. As long as we hold above this 207, we could gap up for the next couple days and return to this all-time high. So that's the analysis for this video. I want to make this video short so you guys can stay tuned. But make sure you guys like, share, comment, and subscribe. And Little Petty is out.